Irish, you know, whatever. Baby, look, okay? Like I said, I wear my wigs because I got to wear my wigs, okay? I ain't got enough hair to be out here just just bold with it. You think I'm just going to stand on by him? Why you waste my time? But I of course I love you, Johnny. You think I'm just going to stand on by him? Why you waste my time? But I am way too fine. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, but you can call me Jess. Please do not call me Jessie because I do not like that mess. Today is going to be a different type of video, you guys. So... Um, I'm not nervous filming it. I just don't really personally, um, just gotta keep it real. I personally have not done a sit down video in quite some time. Um, I have a few sit down videos already on my channel. So make sure you guys check those out. I have a lot of chit chat, get ready with me's. And I also have chit chat, chill with me's. I have one by the pool. But this one is gonna be a little different. This one is Gym Essentials for Beginners. That's what it's gonna be entitled. And I'm gonna throw some fun in it. I'm gonna, you know, crack some jokes along the way. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. People, because, you know, it, it, it don't take, it's free. You know, it don't take much to go ahead and share my video or tell other people about my video. Now, I just want to remind you guys that this is for beginners, okay? I've been on my fitness journey. If I need to, you know, kind of insert some pictures here just to kind of let y'all know how far along I've came or I've come. You know, I'm a little country. Came or come, I don't know what it is. But I have been actually on my fitness journey since 2019, and prior to 2019, I was in the gym, but I was only in the gym when my daughter was a little younger. So I want to say between 2011 to 2013, I was in the gym and then I had a big gap, <laughs> a big gap. I don't know if y'all called that. 2011 to 2013, I was on like a fitness journey then. Then after that, between 2013 and 2019, I wasn't working out. I wasn't focusing on my weight. I was eating what I wanted to. I was not eating healthy. That is a good six years of me not focusing. And 2019 until now, up until now and currently, I'm on you know my current fitness journey. So if I need to insert some pictures of how I looked between 2011 and 2013, I'll go ahead and insert that. And then I'll insert some pictures between the time where I wasn't really focusing on my weight. And then I'll insert some pictures when I was really going hard. And that was between 20, like the end of 2020, 2021. That's when I really start seeing results and my body was totally different. Like I was expecting, I really wasn't expecting my body to look like that. Uh, I was very, very like slender, very slim thick between 2021 and like the beginning of 2022. And then 2020, of course, you know, I was really going hard and that's how I got the results in 2021. Anyway, not to talk you guys' head off about that. If you guys want a video of what I do, what I eat in the day, my routine and stuff like that, make sure you guys do not forget to comment down below and let me know. Let me know if y'all like these videos, these types of gym routine videos, these gym videos. I don't mind. I know what I'm doing, baby. I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? But this video right now is for all my beginners, okay? Now, some of the stuff y'all gonna be like, how is this for beginners? Trust me, it is for beginners, okay? It'll kind of get your, your feet wet in the gym game. And it could kind of help you um, kind of get the jitters off because this is literally stuff that you need to kind of start your journey in the in the gym. It's, and I'm saying in the gym, okay? Um, it could be at home, you know, working out at home. I have all these essentials is for working out at home as well. Um, I usually used to do cardio in the park and I used to work out outside, especially during when it was like the pandemic and it was real, real heavy and we couldn't go to the gym. Yeah, baby. I was outside working out. I didn't have no gym membership then. I was really, really, really focused on cycling, like riding my bike, running. And then that's how I kind of lost the weight, to be honest with you, cycling and running. But it got me real slender and I was like, uh-uh. 
like I'm gonna have to start lifting and I'm gonna have to start getting to the gym a little bit more and making sure I tone up and just seeing better results, okay? I'll show y'all my current body. I'll show y'all at the end of the video of what I look like now. But for right now, let's go ahead and get into the video in regards to key essentials that you need. I'm not gonna make it that long. I'm not gonna make this video that long. It's just some little things here and there where I feel like that you need. I feel like that you need. If you feel like you don't need it, then that's you, baby. Hey, you the expert. I'm not. You know what I mean? You know, you the <laughs> So anyway, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So firstly, the first thing, okay? Now, I told y'all this video might be a little funny to y'all, okay? But I just got to keep it real, okay? The first thing you need, baby, that I think you need is... Let me go ahead and get it. You need a pre-workout. <laughs> Especially if you have never been in the gym, if you feel like you don't know how to get, ener like if you're not an energized person, if you're low energy, this will boost you. Will it, will you, will I say it, you need to rely on a pre-workout? Do not rely on a pre-workout. Let me say it again. Do not rely on a pre-workout to give you energy, okay? That is very unhealthy, okay? Do not rely. And it, you don't have to get just, this, this is the C4 Ultimate. This is the C4 Ultimate Strawberry Watermelon. Okay, Ultimate Pre-Workout. Pre, uh, oh, I can't even talk. Ultimate Pre-Workout Performance, okay? This is the one I use, okay? They have a lot of other ones like Alani Nutrition. That's a good one. And this one right here, the supplement facts on this one is that it's just five calories per serving. It's a little scoop. That's it. It's just a little scoop in here. Let me show y'all. It's a scoop in here. That's the serving right here. Now you can drop, you can go ahead and just go ahead and take to the head like a real crazy person. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> I'm just goofy. I'm crazy. Y'all, if y'all don't know me by now, if you just your first video that you ever watched, I could be a little crazy especially when it comes to working out in the gym okay but i will let you guys know this is a serving you can put this in a glass of water you can put this in a bottle of water it's going to really really kind of instruct or kind of negotiate on how strong it's going to be because you're putting it in water so if you're putting it in like a regular standard size cup of water you should be good to go. If you put it in a water bottle, it might make it a little weaker, especially if it's in like a standard size water bottle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I really like to kind of just take it to the head and I do not rely on this. I do not take this every day. Sometimes I'll go ahead and just drink a Celsius and sometimes I might be still hot off my Celsius that I have drunk during the day while I'm working or if I, you know, just stuff like that. Sometimes I even go to the gym based on vibes. And what I mean about vibes, I might be already hype and I might not need this pre-workout, okay? But I will let you guys know there are different pre-workouts out there, but this is the one that I use. This is the C4 Ultimate. And of course you have other alternatives like Alani Nutrition. And I'm probably gonna try that one next, okay? But this is a good one, okay? Moving along, moving along, cause I'm talking too much. The next thing you need, baby. And we're gonna really just, we're not gonna go in categories. We're not gonna go in order. This this is, I gotta keep it real with y'all. I'm not gonna go in categories. I'm not gonna make this real uniformed until I understand that you guys like these types of videos, okay? So this is really a conversation. I'm just having a conversation with you guys, okay? Next thing that I think you should need, baby, please get you some earphones or some headphones, whatever you want, earbuds, whatever you wanna call it. And I would say, preferably noise, uh, sorry, noise cancellation earphones or headphones or whatever you want to call it, headset, whatever you want to do, baby. Because that gym music not it, okay? And it could be a little boring and I'm a music person, okay? I like to listen to my Drizzy Drake, which I'm waiting on them tickets to go down. Mm -hmm. But I listen to my Drake, I listen to, you know, I'm a hip hop person. I listen to my Freddie Gibbs, my West Side Gun. I listen to a lot of different artists that keep me hype. I listen, I listen to a lot of hip hop. I do not listen to a lot of R&B when I'm working out. <laughs> so I need my earphones and I need to make sure that whatever they doing, if they 
If they on the streets, I need somebody that's on the streets. <laughs> I need to be listening to somebody that's on the streets in the field. You know, it's a little bit more hyperactive music going on in my head to get me real pumped up on them weights and get me pumped up on that cardio, okay? So make sure you guys get some headphones. Now, preferably, I do not prefer AirPods or anything that does not have a wire. And let me tell y'all why. I'm probably going to buy the ones and I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I will link, you know, some AirPods in the description box. Make sure you guys, whatever y'all feel like is comfortable, get those, but make sure you get some headphones, baby. You ain't gonna like that gym music, but like I was about to say, cause I'm getting off track, it's some headphones that got like, you know what I'm talking about, like the ones, I think they made by Beats or whatever. It's different brands, but they big and they go all the way around your head and they got the big old ears. Baby, get those, those are better because they're not going nowhere. Now they might kind of give you a little headache. That's kind of thing that I heard about those. So I'm probably have to be aware when I finally buy those that it might give you a little headache. It might feel a little heavy. It might feel a little weird on your head. It might look weird on your head, but those are better than these, okay? So enough about the headphones, <laughs> but I will let you guys know, make sure you get some, okay? It's gonna help you, okay? And if you do listen to your R&B and you wanna go ahead and make love to the gym and, and whatever your workout that you try to do, that's cool with me too. I'm just telling y'all personally, I like to make sure I'm listening to somebody that's on the streets, gang banging, okay? Uh, I told y'all this is not in categories, but I wanna make sure you guys get you something, especially if you're trying to lose inches, not really, so say weight, but lose inches around your stomach area. And also if you wanna lose inches somewhere else, like around your thighs or whatever like that, get you something that's like a fitness belt or something that kind of, you know, compresses the legs. They have different things, not just fitness belt, but they have uh, some that um, I've seen at uh, Academy where it kind of goes around your thighs and kind of make sure that they keep those compressed. Now I will say, do not rely on that either. And I'm not saying work out in a fitness, I mean, work out in a waist trainer, excuse me. This is not a waist trainer, my darling. This is a fitness belt, okay? Waist trainers? No, ma'am. <laughs> now, if that's what you prefer to do and you have seen results, that's you. This is my video and I feel like that that is unsafe. And to be honest with you, I'm going to tell y'all the truth right now. I do not always wear my fitness belt, Okay. And that's not saying I forgot. Sometimes some workouts and some things just don't, do not cause for you to wear it all the time. It's not going to really make no difference sometimes. Sometimes, I said sometimes, don't come for me. But sometimes you don't really need this, baby. You really don't. You're going to lose your inches. You're going to lose them, okay? It's not going to speed it up. It's not going to slow it down if you don't or do uh, if you do or do not wear this, okay? But I really think it's recommended that if you try to lose inches, it gives you more of a sweat buildup in that area that you have it at. And, of course, when you sweat in a certain area, most of the time those calories burn, you know, quicker. Anytime you sweat, you're burning calories, we're not going to get into that. That's a whole nother video. Okay? But I'm just letting y'all know that not all, don't rely on this. But I feel like if you just starting out and you want to lose, you know, just them, just them stubborn inches, them stubborn inches around your waist, go ahead and get you a fitness belt. Not a waist trainer. <laughs> a fitness belt. We are not back in. We are... They was wearing them big old, them big old dresses with the puffer sleeves and the puffer shoulders. Them big old, uh, and they had the big old corsets and stuff. This is not what this is, okay? So don't get this mixed up, okay? I don't want y'all saying Jessica told me to get a, 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 a waist trainer. No, I didn't. I said a fitness belt, okay? And the main one that I usually wear is by J Scope Fitness. Um, so. Jazz Jackson, congratulations to her. Her body is crazy. That is my number one motivation besides myself um, because I'm my own motivation. I have looked the part and she has, she's actually looking the part now. So I'm trying to look, I'm trying to make sure that I look up to the right people when it comes to my journey because she's doing it. She's doing it, you know what I'm saying? 
So anyway, I just want to throw that out there that her fitness belt is great. That was the one that I used. Her fitness belt was the one that I used when I lost that weight in 2021. And I had like this, this magnificent shape. Okay, I had abs, baby. I didn't say that the fitness belt by itself gave me abs, but it did help me, okay? This is from a black owned local business. And I bought this fitness belt. Um, I went to like a gumbo festival in Houston uh, around uh, Vlogtober. I actually filmed that, it's a vlog about it. And I went to a gumbo festival and I actually purchased it directly from her. She sized me up at everything at her booth and she sold me this belt and I've been wearing it ever since October. <laughs> so, hey, it's been working for you, girl. The next thing y'all should need, let me go ahead and get it. What I had told y'all that I lived, okay? And when I tell y'all I lived, I lived. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I record some of my lifting sessions. It's a little hard when you kind of in your in your groove, in your mood, you got people around you. It's a little hard. You know, a lot of people don't like to be in the camera. And y'all know I'm good at not putting people in my view. But this besides the point. That's beside the, besides the point, okay? So, this is what you need. You need some gloves, okay? Now, I you can get these from Amazon, okay? But I got these from DD's. DD's discount. These are the same ones on Amazon, baby. They got all kind of different gloves on Amazon. I just got mine preferably from DD's because it's local to me. And these was four dollars, girl. Four dollars. Four dollars. Okay. So make sure you get you a pair of gloves so you don't get no kind of, you know, that little rubbing sensation. It, it gives you like blisters and stuff on your hands if you don't protect them with some good gloves. And these are like women style gloves. They have like gloves for women, gloves for men whatever they even have some that's unisex but i will link some the same ones <laughs> from amazon in the description box okay you guys so make sure you get you a pair of gloves especially if you're lifting for the first time or if you're just an expert and you just ran out of gloves and you don't know where to find them go to amazon baby and find you some gloves okay that's the cheapest place you're gonna get them from online but in person I say like Dee Dee's, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all them places like that have fitness sections where you can get gloves for like four or five, six dollars, okay? So get you some gloves, baby, so you can make sure you lifting them right weights properly. And it actually gives you a really good grip, a good grip. You don't want your hands to be sliding, slipping and sliding on them weights or them, them little balls and stuff. You know, you be doing your little squats with the little ball. You don't want, you don't want no blisters. You don't want your fingers sliding. You don't want to get injured, okay? This, is, this has so many benefits to them, okay? So make sure you get you some gloves and get the ones that you got the little fingers out. You know, this is what I'm talking about. Let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate. You know, you got your little fingers out and you just close it just like that. Okay, so you can look like a true professional. You don't want to look like you're a beginner. You don't want to look like you wanna, you're a beginner, but you want to make sure that you are protecting yourself like a beginner, if that makes any sense. And like I said, experts be wearing this, okay? So, you fit in, baby, okay? You want to fit in. You want to fit in or not, okay? <laughs> now, y'all can tell I'm real passionate about this because, like I said, I've been on my fitness journey for years, okay? I don't care if I took that long break. I still know what I'm talking about, and I just love taking care of myself, okay? This is the most important thing that you need when you're at the gym. Y'all ready? Before I get to this girly category or girly part of the video, y'all, if y'all don't get y'all no Apple Watch or no Fitbit, I prefer a Fitbit because it's very, very cost efficient, okay? This is my Fitbit. Get you a Fitbit. I think Fitbits don't go no more than 100 some dollars. Them Apple Watch is a high baby, but if you can go ahead and afford an Apple Watch or if you already have an Apple Watch, please put it to use when you're at the gym. And if you don't have neither, make sure on your iPhone, they have a health app or a fitness app on there and you could close your rings. That way you just need to make sure that it's tracking you and it's making sure that it's, you know, it's getting your heart wet. It, you, you need it to make sure it's tracking you, okay? Because sometimes, you know, it's not going to do the same as you counting your steps on your Fitbit or on your um, 
Apple Watch. And they have all kinds of different watches. You don't have to get no Fitbit. You don't have to get no Apple Watch. Just get something that counts your steps and monitors your heart weight and make sure you get something that, um, you know, gives you a count of how many calories that you burned, okay? Just letting y'all know, it's really going to help you track yourself. And they actually have an app. It actually has an app for Fitbit. I'm going to link this in the description box. It has an app that comes with Fitbit that you have to download when you get this watch. And you enter all your information. And guess what else it tracks, baby? Y'all ready, ladies? Guess what it tracks? Your period. Your period. Your cycle. So you can put, instead of having all those different apps that monitor your cycle, how much you eaten, yeah, the Fitbit app monitors what you're putting in your body that day. It also monitors your workouts, your goals, and your period, your menstrual cycle. So it knows and it's smart, it's smart enough to tell you, hey, cool it. It even tell you when your ovulation day it tell you everything okay baby so make sure you get one it's gonna help you darling i promise you it's gonna help you because it's been helping me it's really it changed my life and this was gifted to me i received this for christmas okay from my mama my mama knew what time it was because i've been asking for a Fitbit for a long time and she finally got it I don't know why it took her so long, but I love her, and she finally got me a little watch, okay? So make sure you guys get y'all a little Fitbit or Apple Watch or whatever watch that's going to track those things for you because it's really going to help you, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, get something that's going to help you, that's going to tell you what to do, okay? Get y'all something that's like a little, like, like a fanny pack or a crossbody bag. Um, we have a few YouTubers that have shown y'all, you know, Aaliyah's face. She's really good. She has a really, really fancy one. This is from, uh, I don't know what it's from. This is from probably DD's. I've had this for like 10 years. I have been working out with this same fanny pack for 10 years. I even have different styles and different colors, baby. I might bring out my, uh, my bright color since it's springtime, right? But black is just, it matches with everything, right? But get you something that's kind of going across your shoulder or around your waist so you don't have to lug a big old bag. Now, I understand, you know, you might have a little change of clothes. You might have came, you know, from work directly to the gym. Whatever it is, you might have to pack your bag because you might have your little laptop in there. You came from work and you don't want to leave anything in your car. I get it, baby. That This part right here, this little fanny pack, don't pertain to you. But it pertains to my ladies that don't really like to carry that much and like to kind of get in and out the gym, making sure they kind of move around, with, you know, freely and kind of go home, okay? So this is going to help you, especially if you're coming straight from your house and you and maybe you might have to run some errands. You don't want to have, you know, no big old bag, you know what I'm saying? And this fits my wallet, my keys, some gum, everything. So put, put stuff in there, okay? And it's big enough. If it's everything, you get a bigger fanny pack, you can get a bigger bag, you can get the one that Liz face got, you can get the one I got. But I'll link one in the description box that's from Amazon. They got all kind. I don't even know if I need to link that. Y'all know, kind of know what I'm talking about, okay? These are two things that I'm going to tell y'all that y'all really need. It's a little girl. No, it's three things. I don't know if it's three things, two things. I don't know. I, I don't know how many things I need y'all. I need to tell y'all. But I think it's three because I got three in my hand. Okay, we're getting real girly with it. And this is optional. This is optional. If you feel like you don't agree with me and you don't need this, that's cool. That's cool. But me personally, I can't show you one thing. I can't show you the label of one thing because it's going to be in another video. But I'm going to show y'all all three and I'm going to let y'all know what they are. Y'all, make sure y'all got a gym perfume or a gym fragrance that you wear to the gym. Something that's very affordable, not your good stuff, and something that's set aside for the gym. Get you a lip gloss and make sure I put that fragrance down because I'm, I'm this is that's a whole nother video right there. It's it's bomb, it smells so good. Okay, yes, it smells really good, and I wear it to the gym, but anyway, um, get you a lip gloss and not a lip gloss in my opinion like a little lip tint you know get a little cute with it like a little lip tint i have it on now it's cute 
a little lip tint, something that got a little pigmentation in it. Or if you just want to do like a clear gloss, that's on you, baby. I'm just saying what I do. And this is by RK. I'm sorry, RK. NK Makeup. This is a lip oil, color lip oil. It's got jojoba oil, argan oil, vitamin E. I probably talked about this in one of my vlogs. I don't know what I'm putting out after this one, but I wanted to get this video out. And this is in the shade Kahala. And this is a lip oil, but it's a color lip oil. oil. And it stay on. It's so pretty, okay? And y'all, I ain't got no makeup on. My skin is skinny. Y'all know I got a little hyperpigmentation. Look at the skin. I don't know if y'all can see this skin. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Okay, so make sure you guys get you guys a lip gloss or a lip oil, okay? But make sure you guys have y'all a little brush. You know, y'all don't have to do y'all hair like me with the little two things out and a little long ponytail. Y'all don't even have to wear no wig and blah, blah, blah. Because I don't want y'all coming for me and be like, why you wearing a wig and why are you wearing this when it ain't your business, right? And I got alopecia, so I'm going to wear my wig. Okay, but I don't really wear this wig, but I actually wore this to the gym today because I went somewhere prior, uh, prior to the gym and I had this wig on. And so all I did was kind of, you know, put in a little ponytail at the back. It's a very long wig. And then I just had these things out just to look, you know, just look cute. It be men's at the gym. It be men's. So I thought this was cute and it was. I don't know if I said the brush, but make sure you, you know, kind of touch up your hair. And this all can fit in that fanny bag or your little crossover bag or your shoulder bag, your waist bag, whatever. Get your little brush and make sure you can kind of touch up, make sure it ain't nothing hiding. If you put everything back and you put in a little claw clip and stuff, you might not need no brush. If you got your natural hair and your, clur your curls are flour uh, flourishing and you got your real hair and you don't need to brush nothing, cool. You don't need that brush. If you feel like you got natural, naturally juicy lips, you don't need no lip oil. But I like to keep my lips hydrated when I'm working out, okay? Because I'm already breathing hard and stuff like that. And like my perfume, that kind of gives me a motivation to kind of go a little harder. I like smelling good regardless. So I like to smell my, I don't, I don't have no stinky smell when I, <laughs> when I leave from the gym, even though I have sweated hard, even though I went hard in the gym, I still don't have that rancid smell when I leave from there. I still have that fragrance on me. Okay. Now that's going to be another story or another video. If y'all want to go ahead and get into that. But me, I be taking showers before I go to the gym and I take a shower when I come back. I don't know. That's just me. Hey, to each his own. Speaking of hair, let's go ahead and get real funny with it. But I have to keep it funky. Now, I talked about my wigs, right? This is the gym wig that I really wear. Get you a gym wig. <laughs> this is so bad. It, I got to brush it. Get you a gym wig, baby. And it does not have to be a certain kind of wig. It's whatever you feel comfortable working out in. Especially if you wear protective styles. Now, if y'all going to work out in your tape ends and work out in your little cake tips, U tips, B tips, Z tips, L tips, whatever those are, cool. If you don't wear no tips and all your natural hair is just out and you could do that, cool. But this is for my ladies that wear wigs, okay? Get you a little raggedy gym wig. I prefer a headband wig. This is not a headband wig. This is a like a lace closure wig. And this is synthetic. Girl, I'll be putting this in like uh, uh, ponytails, claw clips, baby. Look how this look. This is not cute, okay? <laughs> Okay, but I still look the part. I still look cute. I still look athletic. I still look gym ready in this raggedy wig. I just kind of fix it up, spruce it up with my little brush. You know, I be brushing, you know, whatever. Baby, look, okay? Like I said, I wear my wigs because I got to wear my wigs, okay? I ain't got enough hair to be out here just, just bold with it. Can I wear my natural hair? Yeah, but that's crazy, <laughs> okay? That's crazy to me. I wear protective styles. But can I wear my natural hair? Yes. I ain't ashamed. Okay, because I have a mild case of alopecia. And if I didn't have no mild case, I still would. I still don't mind sharing that with you guys. I mean, I wear wigs on this channel. I wear wigs in real life. That's me. Okay? So I wasn't explaining, but I had to let y'all know that y'all need a gym wig. And I really want to get me a curly gym wig. I think curly would look so cute on me. 
but then again it might be a little heavy so i don't know now let's go into clothing and shoes this is the last part of the video okay now we gonna focus on comfort on this part of the video make sure you got and comfort and cute being cute and being comfortable okay you guys now what i'm wearing right now i'm super comfortable i could probably wear a marathon i mean run a marathon in this okay so firstly let me show y'all some shoes make sure y'all get y'all some really really comfortable gym shoes i got these shoes from i don't know if i got these from dds Dee or shoe deal now these are not nike these are not adidas do i have nike and adidas that i work out in yes nike roche or roshi whatever you want to call it these are really good in my opinion they real light in my opinion some adidas right here that i love working out in these are actually my favorite shoes okay so i will link these nike roche and these adidas okay i've been working out in these two shoes right here in my hand these two whatever i'm just holding one shoe of each but i've been working out in these for i want to say about 10 years look how intact they are though i have ran miles in this shoe ran miles in this shoe lifted in this shoe baby and i have some other nikes i got some other gym shoes but that's my main ones that i do wear okay and this one right here i just like wearing like if i want to you know kind of match my all black or these are just as comfortable these are light it feel like air and these actually run big i think i got these in like a smaller size these was like i wear a size 10 in shoes just for reference i wear a size 10 i got big old feet but i had to go down a size okay but you can get these locally at like them little quick little fast fashion show stores or you can go ahead and click the link in the description box and go ahead and order you some um nike roche or adidas or whatever or just go on your own time and i prefer getting your gym shoes just to kind of keep this video on topic um to make sure everything is cost efficient make sure you guys go to the outlets like the nike outlet the they have outlets so we have two i think we have two or no i think we have like three or four different outlet locations in houston because i live in houston just to kind of let you guys know so it's not really that hard to get some gym shoes and it's not that expensive make sure you guys get some gym shoes that are very affordable so you can get like different styles and different colors and different kinds okay so you can kind of keep it cute and kind of keep it fun right right nextly i wanted to go ahead and because we're gonna get into how my body look and like a little fitness update and and like body update or whatever you want to call it okay so nextly okay i have on like this crop jacket i know you oh don't mind that wig <laughs> but i have on like this crop jacket i know y'all can't see everything but i have this crop jacket with a little hood it don't really close but i have different other crop sweatshirts that kind of go across right here like kind of crop top i even have let me show y'all what else i got that also i wear in the gym because sometimes the gym be cold it do be cold in there, especially when you sweating and then the sweat be wet on you and it be a little cold. So let me show y'all what else that I wear as a jacket, okay? I have something you call, I think everybody call, I haven't worn this one yet. I have different colors. I got all kind of styles and colors of these. I just bought this one, but it's from Dee Dee's by the way. It was like $8.99, baby. Under $10, under $10. If y'all want a gym haul, i can do that okay because i be finding some stuff that's why i got so many gym clothes i got more gym clothes than regular clothes to y'all surprise i got more gym clothes than regular clothes but anyway this is 8.99 of dds they call these bbl jackets i ain't got no bbl i ain't got no surgery and i love those girls the girls that got surgery like oh my god they look so good especially when they in the gym they just look good they don't it's no angle it's no bad angle they look good they whatever they the the, the hard money that they put into that into their body it shows it shows so i definitely respect my BBL girls and the girls that even got weight loss surgery. I have a friend that got VSG. I got a friend that got a sleeve. I know people. They look good. Okay. But these jackets are named after women that are that have surgery. Like baby. 
it gives you that effect. It really gives you that hourglass. It really, really snatches you in, baby. Okay? So I love these. And I will say, you guys, every time that you buy these jackets, make sure you size down a couple of times. Because it, it snatches you in. I got this in a small, and it fit big. No, it don't fit big, but it fit exact. That's what I mean. Like, it really snatches me in. It don't feel super tight or nothing like this. This is made to kind of snatch you. So, get you a little BBL jacket. And I will link one in Amazon that's just like this. I think I can link one that's from this same company. This same brand. Level, level up active. I bet you this on Amazon, y'all. <laughs> so, last but not least. This is what y'all need to be comfortable with. I don't know if y'all knew what, what time it was. Get you a cute gym outfit. Preferably, make sure it match. And if it don't match, it's cool. Just make sure you're comfortable, baby. Okay? Look how cute this is. Okay? I can't show the whole thing because how my camera set up in my room, my room need a little cleaning. But this is a, it's kind of big, this sports bra. I have a regular a sports bra underneath. But this is kind of like a cropped, uh, sports bar right here and it's loose because i lost weight in my chest area like up here it's loose this is a side this is from dds Dee this was like four dollars this whole set baby i lost a lot of weight right here first bought this set a month ago now it's been like a few weeks and it was tight now if y'all want me to go into details about how i lost all that and da -da -da -da, i can okay but anyway this is cute and it comes with the matching pants okay this video is not edited because <laughs> y'all know y'all like to tussle and like the body shame on these on these uh on these youtube and apps and social media but this is what my body looks like and like i said this is a matching two-piece set the jacket don't come with this jacket is separate okay and this is so cute and i prefer to work out in um like, you know, pants, these are pants, um, preferably with the sports bra, a little clothing, okay? The big t-shirts is cool, like when you lift, and that's only because like, you know, that's, I know y'all be seeing the girls that roll them behind, like they little, they tuck it in. That's why we do it, because we don't want nothing in the way. Cause I do wear the big t-shirts and I tuck them. Yes, I'm part of that, that tribe, that clan. Um, because we don't want nothing. We want to be able to see, you know, how our body look, you know? We want to see how we looking while we working out. And also, not just because we want to see it. It's less, it's, it's, it's less of, a, of heaviness. It's more of a flow to be on these machines or to move around. You don't got too much clothes on. You don't have to be naked. You don't need to show no cleavage. Nothing got to be see-through. Nothing ain't got to be cropped. Okay, it don't have to be cropped. Okay, do whatever works for you, my darling. But I will say, make sure the material is like a dry fit material. This is dry fit material. Well, it's not real dry fit. It's from DDs. I don't know. It could be, but it feels like a little dry fit material to where you sweat. It's not really heavy when it get a little wet or get a little sweaty. You know, it's not too thin where you feel like uncomfortable. Like if you bend over, you might think it's see through. You know, it's very comfortable. I like this one. And like I said, y'all, I have so many gym clothes. So if y'all want a gym haul or y'all just want to see me in some gym clothes, I will record a video for you guys, okay? I lost seven pounds, okay? So yay to me. And that's a really big thing to me because I kind of didn't think I was going to get back on my workout stuff this year. Y'all know I recently went through a lot of mental health episodes at the end of last year. And really, to be honest with you, all last year, I didn't really think I was going to be back into this groove in 2023. So I'm very, very proud of myself that I lost, you know, these seven pounds. And I'm not perfect. <laughs> I still eat what I want to eat every now and then. But I make sure I get back on track. And for you guys that are not new here, y'all know I got PCOS, okay? So if y'all want me to make a video about that and how it does and what it does and, and you know, how PCOS affects my body and affects the body, I can do that. PCOS is not fun. PCOS is something that 
you might think that, oh my God, I'm so overweight. But a lot of people that got PCOS is not overweight. And to be honest with you, PCOS does not make you overweight. Okay? It's just something that has so many different effects, so many side effects, so many symptoms. It's crazy. It's so crazy. And you feel like you'll feel real, real bloated one day. And then a couple of days later, you back to being real skinny and looking fit. PCOS is something else, but we don't get into that. Anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I got some editing to do because <laughs> I'm not used to doing these sit down videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you a little laugh. And I also hope this, this video helped you guys. That, like I said before, this is a video for beginners. If you guys know what you're doing and you feel like what I'm saying is not geared towards you or didn't help you anyway, then congratulations. You have made it to moderate level or expert level. And that's kind of the levels that I'm on, but I wanted to make a video and kind of move in the stages and kind of get people kind of come, especially my subscribers. I want to make sure that you guys are comfortable in your fitness journey and y'all have a friend. Y'all have a friend that y'all can come to. Y'all have already came to me in my DMs, in my comments on my videos from 2022 up until now. This video is in response to all it. So thank you guys to all the comments that y'all have left on my videos. I'm listening to y'all. I'm finally listening to y'all. I'm very stubborn. Okay, because I like vlogs. I like the little music over the little, the little stuff. I like just talking my head off. I don't like to be uniform and stuff. And I don't think this was uniform. I just want to have a conversation with you guys about fitness and what y'all need to kind of get yourself into the groove, into the gym. Okay. So anyway, I am talking too much. I need to wind on down because I actually filmed this video after the gym, which is insane. I went to the gym. I worked a full eight hour shift. I went to the gym and I filmed this video for y'all because I love y'all so much. So I hope you guys love this video and I hope y'all want me to make another one because I can make a part two. I can make a part three and I can make a part four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. However, videos, however many videos y'all want gears to this topic, I will make as many videos as y'all want. I got a lot in this head, in this head, in regards to health and fitness. Y'all be surprised at how much I know. I know a lot. Okay. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see y'all on the next video. And that next video, I'm just going to let y'all know. <laughs> it's going to be a vlog. <laughs> oh, Lord. Can't wait to, I can't wait to post y'all another vlog. Lord have mercy. Because I love my vlogs. Okay? I love y'all. Bye. Got too much pride for my old girl right now. Got too much pride for my old girl right now. Been known to the gym here. They feel. So the vlog for that old time. Make it up.